What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Chicago Regional live stream. All right, your prayers have been answered. We got us a Broly Surge leader. I believe he was at table three. Um, he's going to be playing against the Clash, uh, not Clash, I keep saying Clash Coup, the Surge Coup. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a different build than the one we just saw. The one we saw kind of was well, kind of Willy Wonka. But uh, it was still pretty, pretty cool and pretty neat. So let's check it out. I'm going to actually check to see here. The Broly Surge leader. He does some good stuff as well. I'm expecting to see some ex extreme explosiveness. Like this uh, this leader was probably one of the most hyped ones out of all of them, I think. Um, he's just insane. Just let's not do this. Let's watch this here. All right. They're all ready to go. Oh, we see a topo at the bottom of the deck. Big surprise. A red deck playing topo. Oof, he rolled snake eyes. Whew, that was a nice. See the way he rolled that? Oh, my God. Like this, so suave. There we go. Good luck, good luck. And they're off to the races. Is he main decking Frost Deadly Poison? No way. He's playing the blue version yet, too? Yeah, he okay. So uh, this is the blue version as well. I think this is this may be the prevalent one that uh, people seem to have stuck to. Going to mull two back and try again. Surge versus surge, baby. We did it. Man, Tyler, the power. Surging. Jesus Christ, Brown, Magician, Eleven. The power in these, uh, in these leaders are surging. Bottom, boom, bottom, boom, bang. Four O's, four O's coming at you. Just a charge pass, charge pass. The blue's out of the way now. I don't know if you charge. Well, you could probably charge a few more than this blue. I think is uh, like last last game we saw he was only charging one red. And the rest were just uh, blue yellow uh, energies. So I think it's predominantly that that you play. The survivability that blue yellow adds uh, in the format right now is actually insane. He's going to pass turn, draw. And two Brolies. Oh, just two more to complete Exodia. Bobbity top table. There's no way there's a Bobbity at the top tables. If there is, I have to go like run him down, find him. Sick. I want to get a Piccolo on screen, stream as well. I believe there was one around in the top tables as well, so we'll be able to find him. Playing the extra card, very strong. Um, at the top tables, um, just from like top eight, I believe when I went through and I did my, my little scan, I saw two Janemba players, believe it or not. Just this is top eight. Two Janemba players. There was a Broly BR deck um, up there as well. And then these guys, obviously. And... Um, think here. One Surge Namekian, or one, sorry, one Piccolo Leader from the Surge Piccolo Leader. Um, and three, three Surge Goku or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the, the ratios, but something like that. I know for sure I remember seeing the two Janembas because I was shocked that there were two Janembas. And then there's the one Broly BR, uh, these two, and then the Namekian Piccolo. And I believe the two other ones were just, uh, or the one other one was, was, the, was another Surge Leader. So yeah, that tallies it off. And then uh, from underneath there, it was honestly mostly, um, there was Beerus, Dayton uh, was uh, still top 16 on the top 16 tables. And if there's a Bobbity top table, uh, well, I'm going to gonna head run first and find him to get him on stream, especially if he wins this round as well. It's going to be pretty insane. The ape comes in and play, draws. Incredible pressure early, those apes, man. I'm telling you. That's why they're so expensive. They dropped in price. I believe uh, they're seven, seventy or something like that right now. Between between six, uh, between seventy and like eighty, uh, they were over a hundred at one point. It's pretty crazy. Hatch at top tables probably. Hatch. I know you guys want to see the Hatch Yak versus Hatch Yak mirror match. Uh, I understand that it's something you guys have been asking for, but uh, 
That's that's a little bit difficult. <laughs> Probably be our yellow or green. Red, green. Gr uh, I'm sorry. It's a blue. Uh, it's a red. Sorry, red. Uh, red. No, no. Wait. Do you mean that? Uh, the. Do you mean the Gogeta BR that I mentioned? It's a uh, Gogeta BR. Is that top table? It's not Broly BR. Uh, big Flynnus. 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 Uh, um, it's uh the Gogeta BR, the red one. Um, maybe I said uh, Broly by mistake. Sorry. But no, I meant uh, Gogeta. And I believe, was this, was it him? I believe Mike is the one who just beat Jose. Um, and that's how he got his fourth win. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what Casey told me with his Broly Surge deck. So now he's got three of the Brolies in his energy. Very, very good charges. He's one away from getting Exodia. Uh, Tyler, sorry, Tyler is using the uh, the uh, Goku Surge Leader, the new one, uh, red yellow. Draw two when he attacks, and then discard one, or sorry, discard one, then draw two. Uh, awaken side, he um, active battle. He gets to remove one of the cards underneath him, uh, underneath the leader, and he either nukes the board's abilities, so cold blood lusts his opponent's entire board, or um, gets plus 10k in critical for the turn. Pretty strong. Uh, there aren't very many uh, Demigras, DJ, Roland. That's uh, well. I mean, sorry, uh, there aren't many that many Demigras at top tables. I believe. Um, what's it called? I believe maybe the, the 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 first the first person we had on stream might still be around there, but I didn't see any Demigras um, at like top sixteen, and the top eight tables rather. That's not what you mean when you say top. But uh, but yeah, there might have been one actually playing a search queue. I think so. He's got the Beerus and Energy here, and he's going to swing with his leader, see what he can get. No reason to shotgun your Surge right now. It's only turn three, and the early aggression is pretty insane right here with this uh, this red-green Broly. A lot of tricolor yet, you're right. Uh, crowing Bist. A lot of tricolor with him. I think I think with these surge leaders being dual color, it'll just allow you to access like playing tricolor very easily just because you can uh you can balance out your ratios fairly fairly well with uh with the colors. Plays this guy here. Does he have a denial of hope? Is it worth denying of hope? Probably. Probably very much so. But he doesn't want to use it or he doesn't have it. And he's going to apply a little bit of pressure with on the leader. He's going to swing into Unnegate. Yeah, and he's going to search. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. No targets. Sick. <coughs> and. Didn't negate actually. It's just uh, just a play to to search the deck with, and then um, in the combo, I guess they just went fast with it. In the combo, he arrivals the the Broly. Uh, yes, uh, chaotic cipher. There is a uh, surge leader at the top of the tables. Uh, sorry, the Nemecan surge leader. There's only one though. Only one of them is uh, dancing around up there. Any babies in top table? I don't think so. I didn't see one. At least I went and did my quick swift through. I mostly caught the top four f uh, and four or six people that were playing. The stream's down, unfortunately. I wonder. Why. Okay. And we're nearing the ten-minute mark of the game right now.
gonna swing with his leader. See what we can get off the draw. Middle two, and oh, well, draw one. He's gonna spam out that Kaioken Goku so good. We watched the Clash crew do this a little while ago, but I think the Broly uh, Surge Leader does it so much better than than Clash crew. But there are some good things about Clash crew that you can't can't deny. So yes, there is a Namekian. Um, that's a good on uh, Piccolo. Um, surge leader at top tables as Tyler combos a Bardock to summon it's going to be able to tap his double striker so that he cannot attack with it that's pretty good see these Bardocks are just constant value unless it gets denial of hope that would be pretty good if Mike decides to denial of hope this uh, this monkey it can be pretty insane instead he just chooses to take it away from the combo area this is true Forgot you could do that with that card. Blasted. And Bean. Let's go. Double taps. And he could potentially play another ape off this attack. Although, to what avail? Alright, so he's going to draw here. And where are we going to charge? Where are we going to charge? No charge? Question mark? He charges the Kai. Give him the information. Well, I mean, he's red, so he knew that he was playing them. But he's interested in play playing the Kai instead of the Champa. Which is, I barely see that. I don't know if it matters too, too much, but uh, the Kai is like a two drop that you can, I guess, play to swing for 15 uh, at worst. But I don't know if they necessarily, uh, I don't know. I think he just didn't have anything else to charge, to be fair. But it's all good. Oh, he plays red. He needed the red. Someone always in chat with him. I'm dead. Yikes, there's a little war going on in chat right now. Love it. Um, and he just didn't do anything. So he's going to pay. It looks like he's about to pay two for something. Or is he just going to pass with all his energy up? Discards the Beerus. Interesting. That's the perfect charge to discard, sir. His hand must be, like, insane if he's willing to discard his next turn's charge. And it is, rightfully so. He's got a great mix of offense and defense with that combination attack, the Nimbus. He's even got... Oh, he's got another Beerus, that's why. So he's, he's, he's hanging out. He's, he's good. He's good. Got a super combo in hand and everything. And the Frost Deadly Poison could actually be quite explosive if he... Uh, plays on the right card if he tries to hit if he waits too long and hits the um tries or it gets to the point where he can play the uh kaioken goku it can be pretty disastrous because the kaioken goku can get hit by that but he's going to swing with the 15k you got to pressure as much as you can when your opponent's playing the 15k goku or the sorry the kaioken goku and draw two and discard one and oh, boom gone and that's over with 
with a board like this, if he actually does manage to play the Kaioken Goku, it's just going to be game. Uh, besides Champa, he doesn't have an answer for it, but Champa would be enough to just slow the roll in. Oh, that's pretty big. Holy. He's still going to get the autos and everything, but it's a lot of pressure taken off because it takes away an attack and also just clears the board, obviously. Uh, so it's pretty insane. His leader does get 5k, but it doesn't really matter because the turn is ending and he's going to draw 2, discard 1. I think I have a good idea on what he's going to discard. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Going off on rulings. Uh, shout out Espira TV. <laughs> You're a good guy, bro. This is probably the prime matchup of the of the night, I think, just because they're two brand new leaders and they, they both do... They're similar in the red aspect, but very, very different in what they're trying to do because of the secondary color. And uh, I'm curious uh, curious as to where this uh, this build came from because it seems to be the prevalent build for uh, uh, Surge Coup. I wouldn't be surprised if the Shenron Lair guys had a hand in it or something. They always come up with the best builds, really good builds and stuff. There's brand new leaders, yep. <coughs> well, he's at the beauty mark, 5 energy. He can awaken if he wants to. So I'm not sure on what the direct line of play is. Um, he's not going to get hit by Frost Deadly just because, again, it doesn't. Uh, the 25k Kaioken Son Goku has deflect. And if uh, Tyler doesn't have a Champa in hand, he is dead. No ifs, ands, or buts, he is dead. And there it is. Let's see. Can I Frost Deadly Poison it? You cannot, sir. Let's see what he opts to play. If he has something to play. Oh, this is rough. Doesn't look like he has anything to play. And Mike's hand looks pretty stacked. He's going to get to uh, untap one, and he doesn't have it. So he's going to get his hand completely destroyed here. Oof. Gets to look at his hand. Hopefully, if he doesn't ruffle up the cards, <laughs> probably gonna do it two more times. Maybe he does it three times. Who knows? And the the leader isn't even awakened. Mike hasn't even awakened yet. So I think I think uh, this is definitely it for Tyler, unless there's a miracle that happens because he can rip away the. He had Nimbus and two Topos in hand. He can rip away all three of those negates and just be cruising his way to the finish line here. There's that card gone. Cho chose the Nimbus. Wise. Very wise. I don't know if he's going to be conservative. But yeah, there's no reason to be conservative. Uh, he's doing it all one at a time just to go by the proper steps. There's that. And the Tyler cannot react or do anything right now. It's already on board and now it's just using his active main effect. <laughs> I got you, Tsikoi Mi. I got you. <laughs> and there goes the second Topo. Alright, so now what's left in his hand here? Nothing to turn off turns, but he's got a lot of combo power, I believe. Um, the Kaioken's going to get a small little boost of 75,000 and go up to 100k. So that's not a big deal. Not, not the end of the world. Um... Probably dead <laughs> if he doesn't do something. Maybe he has time magic or something. But no, no, he doesn't have time magic. Never mind. I, we saw his hand. Yike. There's his hand. And he doesn't seem to have anything. Can't even beerus it because he's at 100k base. Oh, wow. This is insane. He can take away the triple strike still, so it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just the Surge Awakening is about to get bursted away from him, and he does still have three, four more attacks after that, plus the Kaioken attack, which is going to almost guarantee deal damage. I think I saw a Chomp in Mike's hand as well. So, here's the Surge Awaken. 
he's going to get to draw and untap cards like a champ untap two draw two pretty good pretty balanced baby does that too baby Vegeta leader <laughs> Every surge leader has good skills except Kefla. I don't know about that. Kefla can be cute, I think. I'm going to try out with like Universe 6 aggro spam and see how it works out. Yes, you're right, uh, Jitmut. You're absolutely right. It's very easy to get 20 cards. A lot easier than in Kalashik, I believe. Oh, okay. Tyler seems frustrated that he drew something. Like he drew something he needed last turn or, or something like that. Could have been maybe the Champa. Let's see here. It was the Champa. Oh my god. That's a that's a disaster. <laughs> I'll have the ball with this. All right, is he gonna go all in, boys? <laughs> is he gonna go all in? That's the real question. Probably not. He's fine now. He's back to two life. Uh, he's back. He's uh back to playing cards now. He's at two life, and he. Oh my God, no! Is that really? Did that really just happen? Did that really just happen? Oh my God! That is game changing. That is literally the most insane play we've seen all day, guys. Holy, this this draft box Vegeta is about to go from fifty five dollars to ninety five dollars. I swear, let's watch. That was insane. That's insane. Oh no. Boom boom, draw two. Oof. Straight heat. He's Paragus super comboing. If he gives this double strike, he cannot um, he cannot take it away with the leader because the leader only affects battle cards. Also, if he would have got the Champa, he wouldn't have been able to do that. And I think that's a way better than the Champa. Three super combos. He's got one card in deck. <gasps> and he has the Bojack. He has the Bojack in hand. He can deck him out. Oh my god, he's not thinking about it. Mike's not thinking about the Bojack play. If if Tyler has just one blue and one yellow card in his hand, enough to rival the Bojack that he has in hand? Does he have one? Oh, he doesn't have it. No. Oh, what a disaster. Did he combo it away at one point? I think he threw it away on one of his leader attacks. Oh, that's a disaster. One card in deck. He's going all in here. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. He's at 65. 75 going all in here for game his leaders it's may wick or may do or die here I guess uh, if he had the I uh, scooped it up no not yet okay I thought he was scooping up his cards there I got worried See if he can now combo this. He has some combo power in his hand, we saw. Super combo into a super combo into Bean. Oh man, he has all the pieces for the Bojack too. That's such sadness. Dang. I think he used the Surge to give himself plus 10k as well. So he's oh not almost there, but he's on the way there. He's like one third of the way there. Just doing some quick math to see if, if he if he can out combo it. Twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, seventy five. To his twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five. Oh he's he's close. He needs fifty more K. Oh he has it. He has it. He he did it. That's crazy. 
this is the this is the thing about surge leaders, man. Like the fact that they get fifth, like he the the surge Kukoku leader gets plus ten k for the turn, like just for you taking card underneath him off. That's that's a free combo, man. It's so insane. And uh, he scoops it up after that, I believe, or maybe he just didn't have enough. Wow, that was insane. That was like highlight play after highlight play after highlight play, man. Wow, all right. Wow. They ruled that, uh, they ruled that if you got strike dual attack, you already triggered dual attack before combo step and it still stands up very legit. Why not? Just tell her you play 5k combo in all cards. Hmm. If you negate dual attack during combo step, it still restands. Combos on rules. Um, can we enforce combos on rules? Yes, I think we will enforce combo rules. Give me one second here. I'm just going to write some stuff. It was amazing. That was like a crazy dump there. In a non weird way. Whoops. Um. And now they're siding in, doing their due diligence. Not see what's harder. Why not? Alrighty, side deck things now. That was very exciting. I like. I loved seeing the bro leader in action there. It's actually one of the f the first time I see him um, in play and doing what he does. I think he's honestly just a much better clash coup, much more consistent. Opens up a lot more app options. Being a red leader, um, things like. Uh, after image, uh, I, I don't think he played it, but just uh, in it's it's more of like a side deck option kind of thing. But uh, the deck itself is just so consistent. I believe it gets there faster than um, what's it called than Clashku does. It gets there more efficiently and safer, and then more life as well because you you initially get more combo power and you're just stronger in general. It's pretty it's pretty dope. Right, almost. It's the, it's the lost on the other one. The um, it's called that one drop bro is honestly insane. It's so crazy, the fact that you uh, the fact that you get to just freely look at your opponent's hand for one like, it's nuts. It's just nuts. There's no other way. To, no no other way to put it. But we're getting there. The the tournaments, we're more than halfway uh through here. Uh, everything's going pretty smoothly, I believe. Everybody's having a good time, and hopefully we can get maybe th three games out of these guys. Like if uh, the second one goes by fast enough, maybe we can get a game three. Typically, it doesn't take too much time. They're under the 30-minute mark still, so they haven't they haven't even used up half their time, and they're already starting their game two. So hopefully, for lucky, we can maybe get a game three to um, showcase the Broly leader a little bit more. That'd be interesting.
like he's on his way to completing Exodia once again with those two Brolies in his charge zone. Pretty good. And uh, the 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 beauty about about uh, about um just like the uh, the concept of Clash Q and Z itself is like it works so well because of that uh, Chi Chi combo in the drop area in the drop area. Um, it doesn't always resolve, or sometimes you just don't see them at the right time. But honestly, like having that extra pseudo super super combo just for free can be so insane. Just like it can push for games so hard and just get you to the rules, um, amazingly. Oh, another war going on in the in the chat. I see here. Alrighty, another uh, another Goku, uh, Goku Black. That card has has seen so much play since it's uh since it's released. Like uh, the deck that made it really pop, I think, was uh, the deck from that kind of like got showcased early in uh, earlier in Niagara, the Niagara regional, if not maybe a bit before the event before that, the uh, original Broly blue yellow, just a uh, ape spam. This card is so good. That's the first time I saw it. At least I'm sure it like probably was really good in in other decks, but like I I, I hadn't seen it excel in the way it has in in this this format of deck, this kind of deck here. Since, but there you go. As I was talking about the pseudo super combo, just gets him to draw an extra card, fuels his drop area, it's just cash. It's so good. Takes the hit, goes down to six. I'm interested to see. Um, if, does Tyler play the secret rare? There's no reason not to, I suppose, but it, I mean, you could just you could argue that maybe like you don't want it to get hit by uh, different different uh, things that stun it, and then you wasted your turn, like because tapping out your opponent is good and everything like that, but or drawing three is, is, is even better. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Yeah, big snowstorm in Chicago, guys. It's uh, well, yesterday it was a decently sized snowstorm. We were inside for the m for pretty much all of it, rather uh, though. Like we uh, we went, we got some some good food, and then we just hung out all night. And came here today for this one. It's a good event. He's gonna combination. It. No, he discarded the combination attack. Yeah. Ideally, I think he'd want to charge a combination attack on like. I mean, I, I guess it's clunky. Maybe on a, uh, against a deck that you have like more time. Like a later game deck, you can afford to charge like a combination attack turn one, and then you can start charging the Beerus and the, or the blood, or the Frostily Poison. Um, just because combination attack being blue is so is so good. And there's the Vegeta the Cruel. Yep, kills it. That's that's like that's so insane. Forcing your opponent to play the monkey on his own turn, then Vegeta the Crueling it's probably one of the biggest, like strongest plays you can get. Although he should, the monkey still comes into play. Taps the could could tap the Vegeta, and then draw a card. So I'm not sure if he did that or not. Although all that's optional, so if he just missed timing, he missed timing. I think. Just gonna swing with that there. And no combos, just shipping it for 15. Uh, just gonna combo that. Thing of beauty. Yes, yes, please use the comment. <laughs> Alright, they must be friends because they're, uh, they're yelling at each other like that. That's funny. Joking around with each other. It's all, it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. So good in this game. Chi Chi is so good in this game, Timo. You are right. And he get, guys, he got Exodia. He got Exodia. Oh my god. That's four out of four. He did it. Alright, well, I think he wins the whole regional now. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. It's uh, pretty insane. I actually cocked back in my seat there a little bit. I was so excited. It's like I actually made myself believe that he would win the game if <laughs> he managed to get all four Brolies in his, in his charge. Really thinking hard about this one. How valuable is it? Probably not very. 
I, I feel like it's very rare that people defend the, the Goku Black. I feel like after it's gotten you your draw two and untap one, you pretty much just get the value, especially if you get out you an attack as well. It's like it's pretty much netted its values, its worth, and now it's just chilling. But yeah, this this deck is insane. Everything draws. Everything draws, literally. You just... And the Haru Haru, uh, this is definitely a side deck card, obviously, but uh, but a pretty good one, nonetheless. It gets to mill, gets your... That's that's actually really, really smart. Yeah, no, this... Mike has definitely put a lot of thought into this deck. Um, the Haru Haru plays... Like, Haru Haru is a good side deck card in general, but the fact that this Haru Haru get, also gets to mill 2 for him, get him closer to that 5. Because right now, he's nowhere, he's nowhere close to it. He's only got about 6 cards in his drop area. So, uh... It's, it's not... Not very close, 14 cards away. Granted, I'm assuming that he can get them quite quick. Especially since everything in his deck just mills and replaces itself. I think uh, Tyler is still feeling uh, that uh, that stun when the, the Bardock Ape got uh, Vegeta the Cruel, though. That's pretty good, though. Mike Friend. Oh, his last name is Friend. That's so cool. Tyler Rice. Good old Mike Friend. Exo assembling Zoe before anybody else could on stream. But both players do have pretty huge sized hands. The Tyler definitely, his hand is definitely a bit much bigger than, uh, than Mike's is. He's only got seven cards in hand. Granted, there he's got one Topo, one Tau. Oh, he's had it in Tau as well. That's pretty big. That is really big. If he manages to uh, play a Topo, if he if, uh, if his opponent manages like to, just to play a Topo, thinking that, oh, that's just going to be a turn ender, leaving only two mana open and Topoing, and he chooses to tap two and play a, a Tau, it's going to be pretty big. The opponent's going to have to discard three cards, and I don't think he's against doing it, to be honest. He's going to discard three cards and then have to defend an attack. It's, it'll be pretty big. Although now uh, Tyler did it to him. He uh, played the, the Broly. The anything you could do, I can do better. Here we go. And now he knows he has the Tau, so that's information. Although Haruharu is just going to be sitting there real pretty. Unless he clears it. I think it's considering between the Kaioken Goku. I don't know if the place to kill the Kaioken Goku just because he's bound to see another one. His deck draws so much, but he might get unlucky and mill the rest of them. I think Topo is probably the right hit just because you don't want him to, you don't want him to turn your turn off ever. Oh, he's a Fu in hand. That's crazy. Okay, so next turn I think it's the Fu is the Fu turn. Uh, if you manage to, or maybe the turn after that, he's probably just gonna play a Goku Plaque here, um, and he knows if uh, if Mike has anything to counter the Goku Black, so. It's not like uh, it's going to catch him by surprise. Again, that's the value. This is just the raw value of looking at your opponent's hand. Can they see it? It's insane. Look at super scars, man. That's true. <laughs> Set two trunks. That's funny. No, draw power is now uh, out of control. I think it's. Uh, I think it's not. A thing, a weird thing to be able to have like a nine or in ten card hand by turn three. That's like normal. I remember the Dragon Ball of old, where it's like if you have ten cards in hand, usually you're at four life already awakened on like your second swing. <laughs> you never, or you're playing Mecha Frieza, old Mecha Frieza. You use subjection four times, awakened, attacked. Pretty sure this is just a pass turn right now. There's not nothing else to do. Took the hit. Bardock comes into play. And he's going to tap the Vegeta the Gruel and draw a card. Oh, man. Not again. This is... this is. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't kill it, does it? Whose turn is it right now? Yeah, it's his turn, so... Yeah. Now he's just waiting. 
waiting, waiting, waiting. And that's just the raw value that Vegeta the Cruel can give, man. It's it's insane. I don't think he has anything else to do though. I think his turn is just pretty much over. And that's the the downside to these decks. Ever since uh, ever since people started playing those 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 Bardock's apes, and I'm, it's my theory as to why they keep dropping in price is just the Vegeta the Cruel has just become such a staple in any green deck. And now that red uh, red green is such a big thing, or like was such a big thing, and uh, green and other green blues like coming back now with Namekian Surge and stuff like that. I think the Vegeta the Cruel is only going to see more play. It's become a staple, like I said, and, and those Bardocks are just so susceptible to getting destroyed by them. If you're if you're if you know your opponent plays the, the Bardocks, you just don't attack on your turn and, and let them let them have to summon them on their own turn. And because you're playing red green or blue green, it's usually because you have a, a bomb to play at the late game. So you don't mind uh, going just waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting and going late. And just constantly watching them lose their resources. Draw, and it doesn't hurt that he's also a 15k B head. Beat head, beat stick, whatever. What is he going to charge now? What if he charges a fifth Broly? Ah, uh, unfortunate. That's all it took, man. Gonna swing here, critical. Wants to clear away that last life before puts him on four, and he's gonna send Subin. I'm assuming he just said no combos and just shotgun it quick. Untapping the red, that's pretty interesting. Do untap the red, that opens up combination attack, it opens up topo. Unfortunately, it does not open up denial of hope, which I don't even know if he's playing. I thought I saw it in his hand there, but um, because you need two red for that. But it opens up a few options on defense and you know, just that. He charged the Kai last game as well. I guess there's no there's no harm. And he's probably going to play the Tau expecting the Topo. I think it's better to play the Tau after your opponent Topos. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Tau only comes out for a one. Pretty good. He can, oh, I thought I was going to swing with it. I was like, wait, dude. That's not what that's there for. He just passed his turn like a good man. Pass his turn, five energy on both sides, and let's see what happens. Yep, uh, Silent Wolf, he did look at his hand, so he knew he had it. Uh, I'm sure he just, uh, I'm sure he's probably just thinking I have to play through it regardless, so I'll just play through it now, as opposed to waiting. He did still get a draw, so it's not like like he the card replaced itself. Although like having a twenty k double striker on board is the whole idea of the deck, right? It's very valuable. Unless he maybe sided in some other stuff, but as it as it stands right now, Tyler's not in the great greatest position. He's probably just gonna play another Goku Black or something. Yep, another Goku Black comes out. They're both at five life, but the tempo seems to be on Mike's side. He has a lot more attack. Uh, Attack, attacker's on his board. He has the Tau already set up for the Topo. So he's setting up pretty uh, harsh, a bit, uh, pretty hugely for that Topo. Just in case, uh, just in case his opponent does anything fishy. And I'm pretty sure that, ta I don't know if that Tau counts warp. So I don't know if that, I think that Tau just stops, uh, just makes your opponent discard or warp three. If he, um, another Goku Black, well. I think the uh, the Tau only makes your opponent warp th uh, w uh, discard three if it's dis if the they make you discard a card. Oh wow, another Vegeta that nukes the board. This week, this card is so prevalent in every single matchup we've seen. It's insane. But yeah, like as I was saying, the the Tau if you uh, Dark Banisher Fu and you warp a card, I don't think the Tau triggers. I think it's only if it's discard. Counterplay the card game. Yep, this has slowly become kind of counterplay the card game, but it also it's it's a it's like kind of a double edged sword. It's really good because <laughs> plays draw pass now. No, that's not true. I don't think every deck plays draw pass. Baby does some stuff, but um, but yeah, this this the counter format's definitely good. It's all about timing and being and knowing your matchups and stuff. I think the 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 
more intelligent the player, the more they get re rewarded, and the more they plan ahead, the more they get rewarded, which, granted, is, is, I guess, like, how a card game should be, for sure. Like, why wouldn't that be the case? Oh, there you go. He got the surge awakening off of him. Hmm. What is he going to play? I wonder if Broly Surge is back. Surge retaliates. Is he trying to kill him? Probably not. He's at 5 life. But I think he wanted to filter through his hand primarily. <laughs> Gotta take that dice off the leader. I'm sure they'll remember to. No, no stress. And they've got 15 minutes left in the round, but they're going to get a time expense, extension, I assume. And he charges a Gogeta. Hmm. It's not like his opponent has a board to do much, but still. I don't know if you want to charge a tapped energy. Uh, at this point in the game, I guess it's not the worst. Because he pr probably doesn't have 20 in his drop area yet. It's been quite a slow process this game trying to get 20 in there. He's going a lot slower than he did before, for sure. Here's the snow. Oh, no, he just picked up his leader to attack with it. I thought he was going to was gonna awaken there. Super combo. He's trying to push for damage or dig for something at this point. Oh, and there you go, guys. Like I, like we said, we got you. We'll uh, Tyler is making sure Mike respects the combo area. That's it. All right, that's it. Twenty-five or twenty-five? Cause he awakened. Yeah. No, is he? He's not awakened still. No. So twenty. So twenty. And just the the good old pass, classic. I mean, he's not stressed. Mike Mike is Mike is in a good spot right now. He can just uh, afford to pass and probably not die. <laughs> it depends on what bomb he plays. Like, uh, so the only the only way Tyler wins right now is he play if he plays just a bomb that uh, Mike can't out. I'm not sure what that bomb could be because I don't know what he plays in his deck and I'm trying to think, I'm rattling my brain here thinking about, oh, he charges that Vegeta, but it's, oh, that Vegeta would be so good though right now. He just play it. I guess it's like targeted for denial, but still, that card's insane right now. Maybe he's going for game. Could very well be going for game. Uh, yeah, you could have just played the Vegeta and beat him, but I guess like he'd want to yeah, because he could have survived the Kaioken as well with his Surge Leader ability. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that was the correct play. I don't know if uh, not nuking the board was the correct play. I would have probably just played the Broly, looked at his hand, seen if he could have played anything to interact with my Vegeta and just nuked the board right then and there. But I'm also not the one playing the game, so... You were right. So he saw his hand. He's got the information. He knows what he has. Is he going to go for game now? He's got a lot of nemesis in hand, actually. I just looked at uh, Tyler. He's got a good amount of negates in his hand. I think it's three. Is that three? Yike. Oh, that's, that's just beads. Okay, never mind. We're good. I was going to be like, that's a terrible hand if he has three nemesis. He's going to do the good old swing here. Get to discard one, draw two. And he's probably going to. Excuse me. He's going to give it plus 10,000 critical. Anything else, sir? I'm really confused as to why he charged that Vegeta. It, it would have been such a good play. 
Like it doesn't kill the Tau, but whatever. The cow, the Tau's barrier, not a big deal. And he just like that. It's amazing. The Tau just sits there on board and just prevents anything hand control to hit him. So good. Yeah, Red Broly is quite broken against control deck. Kyle Ken in general, I think, is very broken against control decks. It gets to, uh, it just gets to say, I'm going to look at your hand. Anything that bothers me is gone now. And I'm at 100k. And I attack twice and do three damage. So, pretty good. <coughs> pretty good. Granted, the, uh, the leader, this leader has a pretty okay matchup against it, considering it can just take away the triple strike, the dual attack. Um, and just that, actually. But. So yeah, I think uh, that's why I think like nuking the board with that Vegeta was probably the play. Like that would have been insane. Would have been so good. I'm 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 just more upset about hitting than he will be after this game. I swear. Right now I'm just like upset. Like if he would just nuke the board, you would have been in a, such a good spot. But now he's going to pay four for something that'll make me eat my words. Boom! There it is, boys and girls. What do you have on resolution? Anything on summon? What do you have? If he has a chomper right now, it's really bad. But he's in play yellow, so never mind. No, I don't think he has anything. No, I'm surprised. He got rid of the topo. I'm surprised that he chose to foo before he attacked his leader. Very interesting. After he attacked his leader, I mean. So his foo is now 30k permanently for the turn. And this is where after image excels. Even though you have to warp a card, it just turns off the attack completely. And you minus 10k to the foo, so you don't take the excess damage. Second swing. I think Tyler actually has a little bit of the tempo back now because of this foo. It should empty out uh, Mike's hand quite well. There's no need to combo on any of these attacks. He's just <laughs> should just hang out. Although, if next turn Mike does play the uh, Kaioken, he's in trouble. Minus, uh, unless Tyler has like the Champa. But even if Ch Tyler has the Champa, then he, um, Mike's board is still insanely huge. There we go. We forced the Surge Awaken. We're going to draw, untap one, unfortunately, just one to untap, and draw two cards. You're not wrong, McAuliffe. Thanks. I think that's you, Anthony, right? How are you? Thanks for watching the stream, my man. And he passes. Doesn't get anything there with the foo, unfortunately. <coughs> and Unfortunately, Mike's hand is not as small as I think uh, Tyler would want it to be. So it might skip charge or not. He's going to charge that. And yeah, Tyler doesn't really have anything on board, so there's no point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could straight up hard cast it now if he wants to, like just for seven. I don't think it's the play, but he could just do it if he wants to. Nope. Oh, another horror horror. That's insane. What's the move here? And he scoops it up because he had it. Well, that's game two. We're going into game three. Uh, they've got th the rest. Everybody's got six and a half minutes left. Uh, these guys will be getting an extension, however. No, no extension. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, so, yeah, they've got six minutes and 30 seconds to side deck and start their next game. Unfortunately, it's looking like it might be a draw considering that this one went to seven, ma seven energy. Seven energy. It's kind of rough. But, yeah, let's see what the chat is saying here. Talking about Hearthstone. We don't talk about Hearthstone here. Come on, man. Maybe archetype base. Oh, I like this. Everyone's just debating. Debating. Hearthstone's pretty fun. I played for a little bit. <coughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is also not 
not a resource related guard game, bro. Everybody's just eating each other's heads in the chat. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Now there's side decking. It's a curious side deck here because Tyler's back to going first, so he's being on the play helps a lot in these matchups. Um, I think if if uh, Mike can keep hitting his uh, what's it called his well, I keep forgetting the name. Uh, the key, if, if Mike can keep hitting on those Vegeta the Cruels every time on those babies and stuff, and if he gets a chance to denial of hope the Sun Goku the Goku Black, um, I think it's a lot easier. That's the beauty of Red is like uh, Tyler's deck isn't very red oriented. Obviously, he's just playing the Topos. He doesn't have. Uh, much else he's not playing green at all so he can't really access Vegeta the Cruel which is again probably one of the best cards in the format um, that's just the beauty of that's just the beauty of red green I think it's uh, it's just it has access to the best one King Vegeta um, the starter deck King Vegeta that he was he that deck was still really really good I, I'd consider a deck like one tier 1.5 before this expansion tier 1.5 tier 2 probably um, with a good pilot uh, because that deck just spammed out beaters. They had access to, again, red, green, and so does this deck, and that's what makes it great. Um, this one, this is kind of like a mix of those two decks. That's the thing. Like, uh, it's it's a mix of the of the red Vegeta leader, uh, King Vegeta leader, star deck one, and the Clash Coup, kind of both put together and just does both the things that those decks are trying to do, but better and at the same time. So, obviously, it's gonna be it's going to be a lot better. Thanks, Bixku. We love the new setup as well. We, I love the little Dragon Balls that we have there set up for the life. It's so cool. Everything's so like uh, fresh. And these play mats. We have to talk about how insane these play mats are. Are we not gonna talk about it? We gotta talk about it. Mike won game two. Tyler won game one. This is game three right now. I'm getting. A nice hand view of Tyler. They're laughing, having a good time. Seems like they're friends, so it's good. They're very, looks like they're having a good time. Being 4-0 takes off a lot of this. Like, can add-on stress take off stress just because, I think if he, if he wants to play an AP, he plays it now. If he has an AP in hand, I would probably just play it just to have a 20k beater on board. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? And he doesn't play it. And he passes. He doesn't even play the Goku block. He charged it, as a matter of fact. Huh. The best time to play something would be now. Yeah, the best time to play um, something against like a, a uh, what's it called a green red deck is on turn two going first, just because they're tapped out usually because they play multicolor, and um, and it's like your only opening. Now Vegeta the Cruel is live, so it's going to be a little bit rough. Vegeta the Cruel's live. Uh, I don't know if that second energy he charged is a uh, multicolor. I think it is. But now Denial of Hope is also live. So he's going to have his pick of the litter here, whichever one he wants. He's playing this on defense, so he can't actually Vegeta the Crueler. But if he denies of hope, it's just as rough. And it hits the board. He gets to do it. He opted for the uh, field spell instead, which is just as good, I think. The field spell is quite strong. Helps you get there quicker. Helps do a lot of good things. Thinking about with the charge here. And he goes with a Nimbus. Nimbus is good in the matchup. Probably very good in the matchup. Now thinking about it, he probably just... Uh, what's it called? He probably just did the whole uh, Vegeta play. Like, didn't like, charge the Vegeta instead of playing it. Just to... Uh, just to have Nimbus live, so because he didn't want to like charge the Nimbus or do anything with that, he expected to probably live another turn. But uh, Mike had different plans for him and fell victim to it. We have we see he has the Fu in hand. He has the Bardock ape in hand. He's gonna draw two here. Get rid of this. Those Chichis, so good in hand. And there's a double strike. He's happy to take it. He's happy to take it. On tap, my turn, thank you. 
So that was probably his Mike's weakest turn um, so far in, in all these games, just because he was tapped out for the field spell. I think he played the field spell on turn three in the last games. Um, he obviously went first the game before that, so there wasn't as much aggression. But now it's going to be kind of an uphill battle for Mike, I'd say. Going first is very, very important, especially in this format, unless you're playing maybe Janemba. Maybe. <laughs> so it's time in the round. They aren't getting... Oh, well, 18 seconds, sorry. It's 18 seconds before time in the round. And again, it looks like it's going to be a draw unless there could be some sort of turn three Kaioken. Question, I don't know. Question is, now, I don't think there is a question to it here. I think it's just going to be a draw most likely. Whether they, they're probably just going to play it out for our entertainment, but uh, maybe, maybe Tyler could, maybe could Tyler could actually pull it off. I'm not sure. He might have the damage output if he manages to get like a Bardock on board now. Although he just saw his, like Mike just saw his hand, so he was able to uh, he was able to just guess what his opponent's gonna do. So I don't know. <coughs> Doesn't look very promising. Uh, Tyler is playing. Uh, sorry, uh, Curtis. Uh, Kurt Curtish W. Uh, Curtis is playing the new Surge Coup leader, and it is. Wait, no. Did I say Toronto? Yeah, Tyler is playing the nearest search coup leader. He's doing quite well with it. Where he's he's giving us a much much better like uh, assessment of what the deck can do. A very good one. We're we're learning quite a bit watching him play. It's like I said, it's very similar to Broly, but like the leader obviously is very very different. And uh, Broly doesn't play red. This this turns on red. Um, you sacrifice the Bojax, which is not bad, but. Oh, that's a good card. Oh, wow. I don't know if that was a side deck or not, but that is insane. Holy. Yeah, Broly is quite good. You guys are not wrong. We are in overtime. Overtime. <laughs> so now they've got 10 minutes to play it out here. Um, probably not going to take that long, though. And he combos another Bardock. Combos the Bardock just to take the life. And he taps the Beerus, respectively. It's all about chaining here, like the, the chain of which uh, which he summoned stuff. He would have had the Beerus tag, but luckily Tyler was able to bring his Bardock out, which again is insane. If he pushes for double strike here, you know, he could maybe kill him. This is turn one here, so who knows? I mean, if he banish her foos next turn, he could actually banish her food next turn. That's a lot. That's a big possibility. That'd be the final turn that he could do anything. But if he leave, if that Bardock stays on ape for some, uh, if that if that Bardock stays on ape, if that Bardock ape stays on board this turn, and his opponent doesn't have the Vegeta to nuke the board twenty k, he could probably just banish her foo and win the game right then and there. But it's a it's a long shot, man. There it is. Goes underneath this field spell. If I'm not mistaken, he should be able to activate it next turn. The Bardock is clearing board instead of attacking. Draw, draw, draw. Oh my god. The leader just says, I'm going to draw a million cards. It's kind of like the old Hercule leader. Um, that draws every time you super combo. Obviously a lot less powerful, but uh, sorry, every time you combo with a card, you, you draw once per battle so but this is obviously once per turn if it was once per battle i think the game would break actually <coughs> swinging for 15 putting a little bit of pressure on which is probably the right thing to do i don't know i, I would probably swung with the bardock um to the leader just to try to kill him just because i don't think i don't think mike's deck has anything that can kill on turn four i think it's either kaioken or, or bust Obviously, he sets up his board with a bunch of uh, counter plays, but he actually took the hit, and there's the thing. There you go.
draws two, discards one, then untaps one at the end of turn. this for ASMR. That's funny. Alrighty. Let's see. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? He didn't have a Jew the Cruel at all. Yeah, I think he's playing accordingly after getting uh, getting done in by them twice last game. Oh, that's a big card. This pretty much just... Yeah, that's a pretty good card. He can push for game right now. Or push for damage. He's not going to get game. He has a 6 life. Haru Haru untaps it. That's amazing. Amazing. I love it. Very well played there. He managed to uh, pay one. Then with the Hari Hari, he's going to untap everything. All four. Uh, Super Cog. I am not sleepy. Unfortunately, I am sick. I, I've been sick for like the past two months, man. It's the hard life. But we came out here. Wanted to make sure like part of this beautiful regional. I'm really happy I'm here. Happy to be here with you beautiful people in chat. We got 302 viewers, guys. Shout out to everybody watching. I can't wait to rewatch this later. When it gets maybe edited down. I'm not sure. Hopefully we can get some co-hosts. Uh, some co-hosts on. I can't wait to. Or I guess there's no interview out there. Yeah, go talk about some formats and some metas and stuff like that. The meta and the formats to come up and stuff. I'm exciting. Do we know what the meta breakdown is going to be round six? I'm going to do a sweep uh, before round six. Uh, Baby is not actually doing as well as you think it is. At least I didn't see. Um, but before the next round, I'm going to do a sweep, write down what I see um, very, very quickly. Um, but <coughs> it's going to be kind of a like accurate enough for me to present the information. Um, probably just grab the first eight tables or something like that, tell you guys what's uh, what the ratios are there. Raditz. Raditz card is pretty good, man. It's like 10 bucks now. Going up in price quite a bit. And there's the extra card. Go The field spell goes to drop area. And he gets to play a Broly. That extra card is so crucial. Josh, Josh, Gavassos. We'll see what jo where Josh is at. Or uh, you want to get a whole chat sick? You want to get the whole chat sick? Oh man, if viruses worked like that, I think uh, I think our species would be in trouble, man. You can contract illnesses through technology. That'd be rough. So, uh, all right. Well, he's obviously pushing for a game now. This is the last chance for Mike to win it on this turn. It was. It's, it's been a good attempt so far. Like he's he's managed to manage his resources quite well with the Haru Haru play, giving himself a good amount of attacks. If this was Dragon Ball of old. It would be based off life. But now I think Tyler's gonna say, "Well, I'm not going lower than this. Three life is my limit." I'm surprised he actually went to three, but to be fair, he probably wants cards for the swing back next turn. He has to try to manage as many cards as he can. Try to manage to get as many cards as he can. Although Mike does have a book in his hand. And Tyler still has not awakened, though. He could still draw three. And I think it's happening right now. There we go. He's going to draw three. I'm surprised he put the Bardock underneath. I thought he'd try to play the Bardock this turn to uh, push for damage next turn. Timo, unfortunately, there was no slug. Big sad. I wish there was slug at top tables. That person would be on stream so fast. Super cog weather, yeah. The weather's pretty bad. I'm surprised. I think there was a snowstorm back home, back in my hometown as well. As you see, I am from Canada, sir, and our snowstorms get quite intense. Um, so I'm kind of glad I'm here. <laughs>
Alrighty, let's see what happens here. He plays. Oh, for a second I thought that was a secret rare for some reason. I got so, like, just rattled. But he plays the Raditz. He's gonna arrival something here, probably. Four energy up. He's gotta do something, otherwise he's in a little bit of danger. Well. It's not that he's in a little bit of danger, it's just if he doesn't kill him this turn, he guarantees himself a tie or a loss. Combos, draws. And scoops. Alrighty, guys, that was it for this one. It was unfortunately a draw, uh, just because they leaked into time a little bit more. I'm glad they played. Uh, they just got to play it out and stuff. It was interesting to see all these uh, all these new cards and this new leader and his capability. I th I think we saw it at a pretty high level, just because these players are quite good. Um, give us the most rogue deck on top tables. That's funny. We'll see what we want to get. I want to definitely try to get a. Um, uh, um, Piccolo Surge deck on for sure and then if I'm lucky he'll be playing like the Gogeta BR deck because I love watching that deck play it's so intense uh, but yeah so we're going to go do our thing scout uh, scout everything out I'll come back to you guys with a uh, full rundown of the top 8 tables let you know what's going on there and we'll see you in round 6